Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to pair your Samsung watch with your iPhone or your Android and get RefSync set up so you're ready before you're getting. I'm going to start with the iPhone and just getting the uh, app onto your Galaxy Watch if you have an iPhone. So first you tap on the Samsung Galaxy Watch app and it'll open up and you want to click on Discover where you can find all of the apps that are available for your Samsung Watch. If you, if you scroll down and see recommended watch apps, click view more and this will take you to the Galaxy Store where you can really simply search for Ref6, click on apps and you'll see the Ref6 app. Here's all the information about the app and then just simply click install and it's going to start installing on your Samsung watch. So we're just going to give that a few seconds to install and we will show you how to pair it all together. So you'll now see Ref6 uh, installed on your smartwatch. If you open up the app, you'll get prompted with a question that says, would you like to pair your watch now? So you're gonna say yes to that, and a pairing code is gonna come up. And then on your iPhone or your Android, you're gonna go into the menu, click on settings, and then uh, you'll see an option for manage your watches. If you go in here, you'll be able to add and pair that watch. So if I click add new watch, I'm going to select the type of watch, so obviously Samsung watch, and then I'm going to type in the code that I see on my watch here. And then when I've typed it in, I click pair watch, and it says done on my phone, and then I just click done on my watch. Uh, the app will prompt you to start a tutorial, so you're more than welcome to click OK to that, and it will walk you through exactly how to use the uh, app with your Samsung. I'm going to show you that now um, as well. So that's now paired, your phone and your watch are all synced up. So the next stage is I'm gonna go into the mobile app and add a match uh, to referee. So I'm just gonna go in and just put test and just the home team of Samsung and uh, watch. And then I can just set up a game as I would normally where, where I'm playing, so I'll put Brighton where we're located and I'm gonna be the referee, I'm gonna put the date and time and then select everything about the game. I'm gonna just use the template just to show you quickly. So I've created the game and it sits in my fixtures area. And when I get to the game, I can go in and add the team sheet if I want to. You don't have to because um, we have different options for that, but I'm gonna just go in and add a team sheet for now and then add a team sheet for the other team, the away team. So you'll see at the bottom, I'm on my iPhone, it says, please install the Ref6 app on your Apple Watch. Obviously I've just paired a Samsung watch, so I'm gonna show you exactly how to get this match onto your watch. And it's pretty simple, you just pick up your watch, you're gonna hold down um, your finger on the screen for a few seconds, and it's gonna pop up a menu. Uh, you'll see reset match log and an option called matches. So if you click on matches, it's now gonna pull all the upcoming matches that you've got on your phone onto your watch, so you can scroll through which match you want, and um, select that. So I'm gonna select the Samsung versus watch, which I've just set up. And I have now got it all on my watch and ready to go. Now all you're gonna do is uh, referee using the app like uh, you would a different watch. So first we're gonna select which team's gonna kick off. And then you start the game. And then we've got the timers set up exactly how you want them. This is my preference where I've got a countdown timer a continuous timer as well as an additional time timer. So if there's an injury, I just simply tap the watch, it's gonna stop the timer at the top, it's gonna to start running that additional time timer, and in the bottom left, I always know how long the game has been going on. Um, so that's pretty simple, and it's gonna vibrate every 10 seconds to remind me that I'm stopping the clock for injury time. As soon as that's finished, I'm gonna tap the watch, and I'm good to go on and continue refereeing. Um, and then the next, next thing you wanna check is um, adding goals, cards and substitutions. So if I swipe from uh, left to right, I'm gonna see the home team. And if I swipe from right to left, I'm gonna see the away team. I can also use the bezel just to make it a little bit more easier to swipe between the different screens. So I'm gonna add a few different incidents. I'm gonna go first and add a goal to the home team, swipe left to right, click on goal, and then I can simply tap yes to record the goal. If you want to, when you create the game, you can select goal scorers. Um, so that will enable you to select the actual player who scored, whether it was an own goal or a normal goal, a free kick or a penalty, you can record all of that if you want. I'm now gonna add a, a yellow card to the away team. So I swipe from right to left, 
click on yellow and you'll see the list of players that uh, I added on the team sheet. So I'm going to scroll down, tap player 5 and then I've also got the reasons um, for why that player would want a yellow card. So I just tap on the yellow card and that's been given, stored. Um, if I've got GPS on it will store the location of that card as well so you can see it on the card map after the game. During the game I might forget certain things that I've added or I just want some confirmation. So I can simply swipe from the bottom to the top and I'm going to see a quick overview of everything that's I've given. So I can see that I've not given any yellow or red cards to the home team, but I've given a yellow card to player 5 from the away team and that no team have had a substitute yet. So there's a really quick way of seeing everything that's happened in the game so far. Uh, just swipe um, down and that will get you back to the main match timer screen. Um, and now we're, you know, you've pretty much got everything that you need there for the watch. So I'll quickly show you just how to do a substitution really quickly. Swipe from uh, left to right to the home team, click sub, and you'll see the first players uh, in the list are the players on the field. So I'm going to click um, a player five, and then I can see all the players are on the bench. I just tap on the player, and that's all recorded. So that's pretty simply everything that you really need in the game, being able to stop for injury time, adding cards, uh, adding a goal and adding substitutions. At the end of the half, the watch is going to vibrate um, and let you know the game should be called, called to a halt at the half time. And when it does that, you just simply hold down the watch screen again to open up the menu. You're going to click on end half and it's going to get you straight into that half time. So now the time that you see on the watch is how long you've had for half time. Again, as soon as the 15 minutes are up or however long you need for half time is finished, just simply tap on the hold down the watch again, click on end half, and now you're ready to start the second half. So you'll see um, a tick on the screen and actually the team that should be kicking off next highlighted in green. And as soon as you're ready to blow the whistle again for the second half, you tap the watch and we're back at it. We can start the game again and you can see the timers uh, are ready to go for the second half as well as everything you need to do your second half. When the game's finished, again just hold down the watch, click end half and you'll see the game has finished and you'll see now a button that says end match. When you're back in range of your phone, you're going to want to click that end match um, as soon as that Samsung watch has internet signal again. I'm going to click end match and you'll see the game back on your phone move from the fixtures list into the results page. So I'm going to simply tap on the um, end the game and I've seen that the, the game has moved out of my fixtures. If I go into results, I can see the game here and it's all got all the information I've just done in the game with regards to the yellow cards they've given, the substitutions and the goals. I can go in and see my stats in this game. Obviously we haven't had any stats because I haven't been running around um, but if I click on stats I'll be able to see all the information from the game and all the performance of my performance in the game as well. And that's basically how you uh, use Samsung Watch with iPhone or with your Android. Uh, really simple and easy to use. Uh, if you have any questions, just send us a tweet or a, um, a message to contact at ref6.com and we'll get back to you with any help that we can give you.